All right, guys, we're loaded up. This is the day after we were mowing with the uh, skid loader. And I've got the tractor on. It's not how I want it. I, I like pulling them backwards. I don't know why. I've always done that. I've pulled tractors most of my life. Um, I usually have a long enough trailer to get the brush hog and the tractor on. Well, this tractor is bigger than anything I've ever had. It's not heavy. Tractor only weighs like, I don't know, let's call it 65, 6,800 pounds. You can look it up. I don't remember what it weighs, but I'd say it doesn't weigh any more than 68. I think it was 63, 65. Um, it doesn't have the loader brackets on it, but it does have the Zudberg. Um, but I love these little ratchet binders. I've tried to order them a couple times and they keep sending me something different. I want this binder. I like them. I don't need no speed binder with a drill. I, I think those things are silly. I can take these off just as fast. Now I have to go get a drill. Anyways, if you guys like speed binders, cool. But, and I know, I know, I already know where this is going to go with you guys, or some of you guys. I'm going to get somebody, one of the chain down Nazis, that tells me, I've heard that these are illegal, and I've heard that you can still use them. The reason I like hauling a tractor with at least one uh, flip over binder like that, I don't feel like you can get it tight enough. You want to suck the tires down a little bit. And yeah, maybe you could do it with a speed binder. I know somebody's going to tell me that. Somebody that loves speed binders. Um, but uh, I just, I, I really feel comfortable using something like that. I usually use a, a long enough chain I can wrap my binder up with. Um, I do have a guy I can call because uh, there's a, a Kansas DOT guy here in town. He trains all the other DOT guys. I may actually do a video with him. And I know if you watch Dirt Perfect, Dirt Perfect did it with Officer Hoover. I watched Dirt Perfect. I actually had this idea about two years ago before Mike even did it. And I mean, even even if not, we might hit on something that they didn't. Um, but let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Um, if you'd want me to try to get him out here, I don't know how camera friendly it'd be. Um, I've talked to him a bunch. I'm actually going to call him and ask him if you can still use that cam over style binder. Um, if not, I may put two chains on the back. And yes, I only have one chain on it. Um, I believe technically, and don't take my word, we're not even going to talk about it because I know somebody's going to yell at me saying I'm wrong. Um, anyways, I'm about 20 foot long. We'll just say that. I'm about 20 foot long load. Um, I don't like doing this, but I couldn't get the trailer that I wanted. I need two foot longer deck because then I could back up. I could have my mower up front and my front tire, worst case scenario, all the way up would sit right here or so. Well, that wouldn't be horrible because the most of the weight's kind of centralized in the tractor. So most of your weight would be, you know, say here in the middle of the axle to maybe here. And then the brush hog would be back there taking up the rest. I thought about making these stand up ramps. I still might, but... I like how that sits. It, it holds the, the brush hog up. And luckily, I've got a chain spool. I mean, I've got to be like right in the area. And then if you look at this, I still got a couple inches of play there to where I'm not sticking out. I don't like my load sticking out anywhere. So if this haul's good, I haven't hauled it yet. And yes, this is the new trailer. We are so dry and so hot. I mean, if you look at me right now, it's about 7.30 in the morning. And I'm just sweating. I'm I'm soaked already. Like my clothes are soaked. It is uh it's insanely hot. It's already well, I don't know what it is right now. We could tell on the truck, but um it's supposed to be the high at like 98 or 99 today with like 90 or 100 percent humidity again. Yesterday it was like 104. Um without the heat index, I guess, is what I've heard. I don't know if it was or not. I know my truck said it was 102. Anyways, so um, I haven't pulled this yet, but I was I was going to tell you, all the roads around here are dusty. We've got a lot of gravel roads. My truck's annihilated. Hell, my toolboxes have uh, dust in them. I mean, I, but brand new trailer, and it looks like it's 100 years old. We'll get it cleaned up. As soon as it rains and the roads settle down a little bit, I'll clean everything up, and then it'll just do it again. Um, but hopefully this pulls good. I mean, let me get backed up here. Um, 
it looks like it's good. I mean, I usually try to go off my equalizers. I may have a little bit more tongue weight than what I probably need, but if I had two more foot of deck, I could easily move that tractor back a foot and a half or two foot. My axles would be further back, you know. I mean, not by much, but it would. Anyways, we'll see how she pulls, but we're gonna go brush hog today. I just figured I'd show you the, the tractor on the new trailer. Now this is a 22 foot total. It's a load trail. Um, I don't remember the model, but it is 17 foot long on the deck and five foot dovetail. It's a 5075E John Deere because I'll probably put this on the John Deere sites on Facebook. And then this brush hog is a eight foot, it's a, a 30 uh, RCF. 3096 is what the brush hog is so just to tell you you know if you've got if you're looking for this configuration of tractor then you kind of know what it'd fit it'd be nice on a 24 or 25 foot uh but they didn't have well they had that elite but i didn't want anything that big and heavy this way more suffices what i need and i only haul this tractor like this maybe a couple times a month so if I've just got to go through this a couple times a month, I'm good. I am thinking about, um, I'm working on Osma, and I'm going to see if they can get me out a flail mower with heavy hammers. Um, and then if that's the case, then I'm way shorter than what I'm in, that I am right now. I mean, I may be somewhere in this realm, so then I could pick that up. I could still flip the ramps over. But then I could back that tractor back more if I need less tongue weight. So I could get the tractor centralized over the axles better and sit that down. Or I may be able to back up and have, well, no. Well, no, I might be able to. I might be able to back up and get more of the weight this way. We'll see. I'm, I'm seeing if we can get a flail mower in to, to try it on the tractor. I think that'd be a good, a good addition. I'd love to have something smaller than this mower on the back. But you need the width for production, so... If we can get an 88 inch wide or so, kind of like my Alamo, but something with heavy hammers to where we can do a little more brush hog work, that may be a hot ticket, but at least for me. Uh, all right, well, let's quit talking and let's get to mowing. We'll get out to the job site and we'll see what this baby will do.